Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Ben from TAFE and a bit of a fun video today regarding the Promethean and a website anyone can use regardless of what machine you're working. As long as it has the internet, you are all good. Now the point of this video is to address a concern I know other teachers are having. It can't just be me. I understand you're up here, you're in front of the class, you're trying to convey the message, you're trying to teach a technique, explain a concept, you're making some drawings on the whiteboard, you're having this moment, you know the knowledge is transferring across from your brain through the panel into their heads and it's fantastic. But that's not really what's happening. What's really happening is everyone in the room is just laughing at how badly you draw. Now, look, you might be thinking, come on, Ben, surely your drawings aren't that bad. I appreciate that and I thank you for that. But let's, look, see for yourself. So I'm just going into my pink dot here and I'm going to the whiteboard app. I'm on my move tool, one finger, sliding across. There we go. That's my picture of a camera. That took me 10 minutes. I need help. Check this out. This is my cat. I've had my cat for eight years, okay? This is as close as I can get. All right, you're still thinking, come on, Ben. Cats are hard to draw. What about this? This is my wife. That's not gonna end well for me. Okay, okay. Here's the solution I've come across. It's a website called autodraw.com. Now, just stay with me because this website makes you look like a genius if you cannot draw. You've got some tools. Of course, you've got your little Promethean pink button that floats everywhere. I'm just gonna move that up there for a minute. Over here, you've got a color selector, okay? There's quite a few colors. I'm just gonna go with, just go with the blue, you know? I like blue. Over this side, you've got a select tool, which will be helpful in moving things around later. A draw tool, which just, you know, it helps you put some lines down on the page. A type tool, if you want to put text in there. A fill tool, you guys, you guys know what fill does. It just fills in the shape. Here's some shapes. And then there is this magical button down the bottom called auto draw. I'm going to select that. And I am going to draw my interpretation of a donut. Okay, here we go. Here we go. One circle. And a little circle in between. All right. And look at what's happening up on this bar up the top here. It says, do you mean all sorts of donuts? Do you mean an Easter egg? Is it like an onion? Do you actually mean a piece of steak? Do you mean some wheels? And these options, like, there's plenty of them, okay? So straight away, if I was trying to draw a donut, and I wasn't drawing a donut. I've got myself a donut, and that's the best donut I've ever made. All right, but what if I'm not drawing a donut? Okay, what if you think, oh God, any computer can guess a donut, Ben. Like, God, it's just a donut. And this donut, it's not gonna be as good as the first one. Okay, and I'm really gonna test myself here. All right, and I'm going to make this donut into something completely different. All right, here we go. And I don't know about you, but I find when you're drawing, it's a full body exercise, yeah? And you've got to stick your tongue out, and you've got to bite it a bit. And that really helps getting the shape you want. All right, here we go. Let's start to have a think. And it's trying to decide whether I'm drawing a tractor, a padlock, a couch, that's a fair call, or how about a car? Yeah, or how about this car? Let's go this car. That's, that's what was in my head. Unfortunately, that's what actually comes out on, through my hand. I can actually, I can actually draw it. It's so nice. I know I'm just having a bit of fun, but there are so many, I can, you know, think of quite a lot of 
practical reasons you could, you know, get really excited about. Let's draw a building. Okay, now this is Ben drawing a building, all right? That's a big rectangle, cool. And then I'm thinking lots of little windows. All right, I was thinking TV remote, not bad. Let me keep these windows going. And like, <sighs> all right, here we go. We've got some buildings to choose from. All of a sudden, I'm starting to draw a bit of a street scene that involves police cars and buildings. Now, pair it up with the Promethean, really, really nice, because if you want to use this building in anything, you can, of course, annotate it with the orange button and take it into your whiteboard. Um, but you can also do a bunch of other things. There's a whole heap of options up in AutoDraw to download um, and, and keep it and use it. I would like to take a minute to jump into the desktop because the desktop version has a few little extra, you know, bits of salt and pepper to make it really, really snazzy. I've always wanted to like just do that, be back soon and like, like Batman, just throw. All right, that, I'm leaving that in. Guys, we are back. The only difference is we're still using the Active Connect, still controlling it by touch, still in auto draw. The screen is touch controlling and driving my mighty Macintosh laptop. This is the desktop experience pushed to the Promethean. So last time we were just we were using the Active Connect. Um, this time the Promethean's running my laptop just so I can show you the desktop version of AutoDraw. Did any of that make sense? Yes, good. This time around, I'm clearly in a web browser. I've gone to AutoDraw and I've said start drawing. So we've got a couple of more things to play with here. Everything works the same. So this is your AutoDraw button, this is your draw button, text, um, fill, shapes. You know, the, these are smart tools too. So if you click on one, it's a bit like Photoshop. You've got um, contextual stuff up here you can mess with. So all good. Let's go back, let's clean everything off and let's do the same drawing again. So here we go, starting off with the donut. It's guessing, do you mean donut? Yes, yes I am. Let's draw another donut plus another donut. And let's see if I can draw a car a bit better this time around. Nope. Maybe if I go like a square a front and then down and again. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, cool, combi van. Oh, oh. Nah, let's go to the combi. I like that, fine. Cool, now the nice thing I really like about the desktop version is you get some navigational bars here. The zoom tool, what you do is you activate the tool and then you kind of scrubby zoom it. So you move it one way or the other and it will zoom in and out. And see this little corner here, if you click on that, you actually get yourself an endless canvas and you get more, essentially the advantage of running, going to that extra effort of running it through your computer via the HDMI, via the USB touch, is that you can extend your canvas and you get a few little tweaky bits and pieces over here. So, all right, everybody, thank you for persevering with me during this video. It's the end of term, so I wanted to do something a little bit fun, not too serious. Um, but as you can see with AutoDraw, you can kind of take it as far as you want. You can use it to help communicate with students in a very different way. You can use it for revision, or you can use it to put a stop to the torment and the terror and the teasing that is affecting teachers all across this wonderful planet. And you can actually use AutoDraw to make a respectable drawing of a donut or a cat. <laughs> I really hope my wife does not see that picture. So if you know her, please don't share this with her. Thank you, happy holidays.